Now also folks, give me something to work on while this thing's drying. I laid these two on a flat surface on a table and laid it over to find out where my half would line up in my handle. Maybe two little marks coming across and then I turned it and just marked everything out and this way I can cut this on my router and I'll cut that while my handle's drying. Alright now what I'm doing here folks is I'm using my router to cut the depth I need for that handle up in here and I'm only cutting up to the black. I'm going to leave this little bit of wood here in the back and be careful doing this. Feed it slow and go in shallow cuts until you get it in there. You're not going to keep quite a straight line but do the best you can. That gives a pretty good trough there folks to fasten into. Just line this up while it's still in the case folks and mark your holes right here. I've got the groove cut in it right here. I notched this down a little bit too to fit the tang in the blade right here and I drill my holes through from each side in and they lined up great. I didn't blow it through because I don't want to misalign it. I started with a small bit, now I'll work up bigger bits. Because of the size of the nut, I need to countersink my holes. Now I'm going to do the second side with a step bit to allow for the bevel on that screw, the pan head. Now if the screws stick out afterwards when we finish with this, it's going to be a fine because we're going to have to cut them down and smooth them out anyway. This is set up and glued up with the blade in it, especially to start with, clamped very tightly very very tightly. At this point it's been about three or four hours while I've been goofing with the other piece I can take these clamps off. Alright we got a pretty good tight seam here folks real good and tight and this is going to get wrapped more anyway we'll end up with a steel cap on the top this will end up all wrapped down in here you can see there's not a whole heck of a lot of wood here on the outside edges but it's enough to make it sturdy and our wood grain is running down through the length for maximum strength so that's not going to be a problem and it works like a dream notice the cutoff mark still I have not yet trimmed this case to length to where I want it yet on either end as you can see I'm going to set this haft into my handle before I go cutting and trimming